What? Two hands. Two, two, two hands. hands. Two hands, Engelberg. Two hands. Hey. So, Cascade has brought out a video how to do this. This is the proper way. I'm going to show you my, my lazy man's way. I just want to show you how to link a two-handed weapon to your character or just to make the animation for it a bit easier. I'm going to take Manny for an example. Uh, I did look around for a rifle model. I found one which I'm going to use. Uh, not a perfect example, but you'll get the idea. So this will work for a sword and it will work for a gun or any two-handed weapons. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to link it and show you how that works. So here's my character. So easy enough, I'm just going to bring in my rifle, which is here. I just got it from Sketchfab. Bring it in there. And as you see, there's my rifle, way too big, uh, so I just need to scale it down. And then I'm going to scale this down. Okay, that looks about right. Again, not going to be perfect, it's just to show you how to do it. Uh, I'm just going to put my hand up here just to get it kind of in place there. Okay. So the first thing you do is we link this to a hand. I like to link it to the dominant hand. Um, so I'm going to do it to my right hand. So the first thing I do is I just put it uh, in the hand as close as possible. You do that by going to mesh mode, click on your mesh and then just to position it. So I'm just going to position it in the hand. Something like this. There. So obviously the idea is as well that you must manipulate the finger so it's in the correct position, everything like that. So I'll just show you there, it's by um, auto-posing, you just click on the fingers and you can play around with that. So I'm gonna then... So that's pretty decent, I'm happy with the placement. I uh, might just have to move the mesh a little bit in line. There we go. Yeah, that looks easy. So this is the position I want. So what we do is we click on mesh, select your gun there, the AR-15, and I want to link it to this hand. So what I usually do is I go to skeleton and just click on this hand. I just want this hand to join. So here's hand R. So I know I need to put it there. So now I'm looking for my AR-15. I think it was here at the top. Uh, I'm not sure where it is, so I'm going to do mesh. Just looking where the hand is, like at the bottom somewhere, click on the mesh, uh, it wasn't, it uh, was in the middle. I click on this, left click, hold it in, and then I use my mouse button to scroll down. So now I'm looking for a hand R, which is there. And you can see it's linked under the hand, okay? Let's give that a test quickly. So I'm gonna move this hand around. You see, it's now all linked, so that's what I want. Okay, so that's to do one-handed. Now we're wondering, we want to do two-handed. So I'm just going to place my hand so that I can use it in a two-handed way. So now I want to link this hand to that hand because I want to keep them at the same, uh, same place pretty much on the weapon. So how I do that is I go into Outliner, I search Triangle. I want to link my right dominant hand to my left hand. So, so with searching triangle, I then look for my hand R. There we go, off right, and yes, left. I then select my hand triangle there, like this. I make sure that I'm in point controller mode. Um, and then I double click on the wrist here, make sure the whole hand has been highlighted. And then I, go, I then go to commands. I then go to constrain and I select points. So now these um, these hands have been constrained together. Uh, I also need to activate it when I move it. As you'll see, for example, if I move the hand here or like this, it's not constrained. So I now need to constrain it. So I then double click on this joint here. And then under outliner, I look for constrain and I activate it. And now it's activated and it turns red. So now I can move this hand, and as you can see, it moves there along with my weapon, like that. And that is how you do that. And the same goes for a sword. So I'm going to continue this video and just give you a few tips, but now you know how to do it, and a few tips to follow. Okay, 
So I'm going to do the same with a sword. Let's go file new scene. Going to go a little bit quicker. Um, so we just import a model, any model. I import my sword, the old faithful cost iron sword. Go in mesh mode, select it, transform. I want it smaller. Uh, I'm going to do 15, 15, 15. I then move it over into my hand. You have to place it where you want it before you start this whole process. So I'm going to move that into my hand, like so. Okay, so this is how I want the sword. I now want to connect it to my one hand. Again, we go mesh, select it. You see it's at the top, and I want to put it in my hand. You can also place it in the weapon slot. Uh, so let's do it for this one. So, and let's just see where it is. And see, here's the weapon slot that I can hand. You can also do that if you want. And uh, we can actually do it for this one. So it's hand right. Um, so there's a right hand. I want to place it there. So I just make sure that my cast iron sword is linked to that. So I click on cast iron. And then we just look for the hand right. I, I, IK hand right now it's there uh, and now it's linked to the hand so now I can move it always just set it out see now it's linked to the hand no problem um, and then what I want to do is I want to add my other hand on here as well to constrain it then click there just put the hand in position And that is good enough just for this demo. And we follow the same process again. So I'm looking for my dominant hand, which for me is my right hand. So I'm gonna search triangle. Um, we're gonna give it triangle dominant hand, which is right. And then again, we go to point controller. So I'm just gonna do it over, Try hand triangle, point controller, and I want it linked to this hand. Oof, I might have to, that's fine. Uh, and then I'll hold in hand, uh, hand triangle selected, hold in shift, double click on that, and then I go commands and then constrain points. And then if I double, if I select this, you'll see the constraint coming up. And it's important you need to select it, otherwise this will happen. So I haven't constrained it. See, it's, uh, it's not linked. So I click on my wrist, I like to double click. Uh, constraint active and now if I move this it's constrained so now I can move this however I want as you can see it all stays in place and yeah this should make your animation a little bit easier uh, in showing you this this also obviously has its limits so for example if you should make something ridiculous like that or well, not even that uh, like this uh, it will come off. So it constrains it to a point where it's impossible to keep a hold on it and it will stay like that. So just when you animate just keep that in mind. Uh, but yes that's how you um, constrain or use two-handed weapons. Uh, I'm not going to show you how this looks on animation and how exactly I intend uh, to use it. So I'm going to try the same um, so you can obviously import animation before onto your characters. Um, so I'm going to try to do the same movements with Cascadeur. It won't be perfect, but it will look something similar. So as you know, in betweening has been out, so I'm going to do this with in-betweening. And let's just select my character here. And I wanted uh, my character to move forward to there. And I am going to in-between this character. And then the character walks. Okay, so again, we have constrained this uh, this animation, but you, as you see there, it loses the plot there uh, a little bit. So we will fix that. So if, if you um, if you animate this from scratch, that won't be a problem. It's when you import animations. Um, so that's the animation. Um, we just need to make sure that our arms are going in a linear fashion. So what I like to do is I like to open this up here. So what is green means is that this has been generated for me. So what I want to do is I want to fix that. I want to fix the arms. So what I do is 
I like to keep my shoulder movement there. I'm just going to take off my arm uh, and I can do that by uh, selecting this here. Um, as you can see, it's marked there as well on a fixed and I just want to, in my case, I'm going to make it linear and in the same one with that arm there, I'm going to make it linear. And let's check the movement. And there's my movements. And you can see holding onto the gun, no problem. Or to the rifle, no problem. So you can still add point controllers to your weapons uh, or props to make the animation a little bit easier. I struggled a, bit, a little bit of doing that, so so this is this is my way. Uh, but if you want it the proper way, please view Casket's video. Uh, if you want my little lazy man's way, here you go. Hope it helps you out. Have a good one. Bye.